Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, I know that it has been a while that I have posted any consistent videos. Uh, for those who are following me, uh, who are following me on Facebook, probably you do know that I'm quite active on the Facebook and uh, pretty much um, you can find the link to my Facebook page into the uh, description down below and uh, yeah you feel free to uh, tune in for a uh, live streams and as well those live stream are, live streams are containing a free readings now the reason why i haven't been a um in touch with you guys lately <clears throat> it is because um, as you probably know i am uh, executing my own personal tarot classes and now as uh, the main tarot class which is the beginner tarot class which is the beginner's tarot class it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a on a recorded version currently uh means that you can uh, as soon as you contribute to it you can uh, have it in your own pace you're going to get access to the 12 hours of content lectures which are including uh, or are containing a, the uh, profound explanation of the major arcana and uh, also how you can use those uh, major arcana in terms of uh, career, in terms of relationship, as well as if you are looking for those things also, uh, I mean career and relationship and also in the uh, various positions into the spread that I have uh, dedicated for the class and it's pretty much a, a spread that I am using myself as well in my professional readings. Uh, so at the end of this class, you are set to do your own uh, personal readings uh, in, or uh, private readings as well, hopefully. <clears throat> and uh, that is not all. You also are going to get a one personal, a free, uh, not, it's not free. It is within the uh, purchase, you know, one personal, a uh, coaching hour with me. Uh, whenever you do have questions, you want to practice, you know, uh, you want to ask me certain things that are, that's, uh, are pretty, uh, that you couldn't get your grab uh, um, upon uh, into the, uh, from the from the videos. Oh my God, what is so difficult to talk today. So yeah, uh, pretty much things that are, are, pretty, uh, are a bit vague and you could not understand from the videos, you can extensively ask me about them in this uh, particular hour. And as well, um, as usual, if you do want a personal reading with me, uh, you can just purchase one from my website. You can find it here into the uh, description down below. And once you uh, set your purchase, upon 24 hours, I'm gonna come back to you and um, via email that is and going to give you a uh, explanation how your reading is going to take place depending on the purchase uh, that you have placed so that being said uh enjoy the show uh, i hope that you do like the uh, monthly videos and here you go your star sign right so we do have a gemini sun gemini moon and gemini rising as well on our hands here for the month of july so let's have a look guys what uh, what you will have to go through and uh, for this video i'm gonna use uh, the four card spread i'm uh, showcasing into my tarot classes and as well i'm gonna do something i think i never done before in videos but this is something that i do very common into my readings and that is determining time frame so because into the month of July, you know, you are going to do stuff that will be carried on further into the future. They're not just on a going to reside into the month of July. Uh, that time frame is going to give an idea how long, how big longevity those things are going to have until they tra either transform into the next level or completely disintegrates. <clears throat> so uh, let me do a good refo before we start and we are good to go. Right, so now the first one here that is going to be the King of Pentacles. Moving next, uh, we do have the Seven of Swords, followed by the King of Swords. I do apologize about the voices outside, guys. It's just there are pretty big flux these days. Uh, the thing is that uh, the, the blog that I have my studio at, uh, pretty much everything is uh, rented to, um, how can I say? Um, like a hotel rooms and for example a lawyer cabinets and so on and so forth 
and there is throughout the day there is a pretty big flux of people outside so that's why i'm aiming to record videos at the night throughout the night and i'm doing my uh live streams throughout the night but now uh it's just you know we have to chew it down this time around in any case so we do have the six of uh cups at the end now that will be a very strong one for you i don't know if you are um doing some business deals but that will be the month for you okay that these business deals and especially if, the, if those business deals refers to some kind of a partnerships are going to pay off big time or uh, they are going to pay off maybe further into the future but the business deals that you're going to make throughout this month are going to be truly successful and lucrative so let's uh, have a look about the time frame for you uh, gemini now the time frame it is by the end of november that uh, the endeavors are going to have a um, not afflict i would have said affliction oh my god it's not affliction influence upon your life so um what we do have let me let me have a look at the cards one more time so what we do have here is that you gotta be quite generous throughout the month now any generosity according to those cards is going to be repaid to you in a double rate and even probably in a triple rate also now generous though it doesn't mean charitable and that is very important to be acknowledged now charity it is when you give away without asking anything in return now generosity it is when you give away and you do have to get things in return but you don't have a, a, a limits of what you are to give away giving you an example of it just so you can know the line uh, and the difference because that is very important because after because uh, for example if someone uh, hears that reading and says okay so i gotta be generous and he starts spending money everywhere or kind of like giving away money everywhere and then they get nothing in return well that is because they did not understood the uh the difference so <clears throat> charity would be if you say you do have a co-worker uh, not co-worker but a uh an employee and you pretty much give him a bonus for nothing that he deserves okay he just didn't do anything and you still give him a bonus now that is a charity however generosity it is when that co-worker works on a very important project and you raise the salary of that co-worker because he works on that important project and as you do raise the salary of that co-worker he is gonna raise capacity the more you raise salary the more he is gonna raise capacity Okay. so that's why throughout the months of july your generosity is going to produce a severe severe results now <clears throat> what else can be seen in the cards it is that uh, it will be a bit difficult for you not to be generous and i will try to explain why here now with that seven of swords at the middle of the reading or into the second position it kind of means that at first glance you know to the uh, endeavor that you are to invest in now that investment it could be as well emotional investment okay it doesn't have to be just money investment uh, at the endeavor that you uh, are to be called to invest into it will seem like this doesn't fit very well with your plan as a matter of fact it will seem like that is pretty much not your not it's not your business you know it doesn't concern you at all and that will be a, a selfish approach uh, now generosity uh, it kind of excludes sh selfishness okay and selfishness is something that uh, truly can deprive you of great gains um, at the end of november at the mid to end of november this deal because probably at, at that time it is where you are going to get the return from uh, from your investments but as soon as you become generous uh, either emotionally or uh, either materially as well somebody is going to make a note of it and uh, will combine efforts with you to pretty much improve both of your lives which could happen through either a relationship i mean intimate which could happen either through a partnership as well in terms of a business so to improve the circumstances of the uh, of the collective life lives that you do have um, that you do have in general now that person itself uh, it's very smart now we do have the king of swords so these are a people of power 
they know exactly how to make things in a useful way. What I mean is that whatever situation there is around, that person always knows how to be very effective in action and performance. So you can look at it from that way. You get the resources, that person makes the resources worth their while, and at the end you both split the benefit from it, either career-wise or either a relationship-wise as well. Uh, now, important thing as well to be acknowledged about that person is that you together are gonna talk a lot because the future of your endeavor be, the, be, the, uh, be that, be a relationship or a career endeavor like a business or like a or overall project will require a lot of analysis because probably there are many things that, that are going to uh, stand in both of your way. There are going to be a lot of plights and predicaments that needs to pretty much going to be found a, um, a solution into. But should you follow the, it's not even the guide, it's not even a guidance, it's more like a uh, an advice and it's more like a, uh, a suggestions from the King of Swords. Make, make no mistake, uh, pretty much whatever action you do uh, incorporate will uh, clear the way through or will clear the path through. So the path is cleared through a, uh, a careful analysis and uh, deliberation upon the best possible action. And that action is going to be very, very effective. So what you find at the end here is the, um, with the Six of Cups, pretty much it's pure happiness. Now I do look at the card more pure, that it is more pure than the Nine of Cups. Now Six of Cups, it is where regardless of how big is the thing you you gain at the end, or you know, uh, it's, it's pretty much something that you enjoy severely. You find it um, innocent and I don't know how to describe it. You find it innocent and pure, and you do find it a thing that deserves its place uh, in your life. So if I have to give you a um, material representation of the card, if that's about business, you're going to love what you're going to do. Now, if that's about relationship, at the end, you're going to find yourself being with the person that you do like physically, and you do have emotional connection with that person as well. Okay, so what happens, so what starts with mutual generosity and cooperation, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, here in the month of July ends with a beautiful um, collab, it's, now it's collaboration and it ends up in a beautiful partnership in the mid to end of uh, November. So that being said, Gemini, uh, this was your uh, general tarot reading for the month of July. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Now, until then, bye.